There's one more act in this section. It's Lorraine Hood. Let's make some noise for Lorraine Hood. Hi guys, how are we all doing? You're good, aren't you? Because Danny's already asked you that. Now I did, I, I was listening to Danny earlier and I'm so glad I've got a chair for this. <laughs> so great. A lot of clubs don't have this kind of service. It's brilliant. So welcome here. Now, I must address my surname because I don't think any of you will have heard the surname Hoodless before, will you? None of my relatives are in here. Thank the Lord. <laughs> You'll be grateful too if you'd ever met them. Um, so Hoodless, we did one of those like, uh, where are you from? Like a wee bit of research on it, right? Hoodless actually comes from French, hoodless monks. Ooh, yeah, exactly. Now I asked my French colleague, oh, what's the translation of hoodless into French, naturally? And he couldn't look me in the face. He couldn't look me in the face for hoodless in French translates to capuchon. Any French speakers in? No? No, do you know what it means? It means riding bareback. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Cheers, pops, you know what I mean? Like, but like, if you think about it, right, that's how I'm here. <laughs> At least one of those naughty monks have been up to no good, that's all I'm saying. But it does get you thinking, it does get you thinking. I've actually, I'm an auntie. Um, and she's adorable. She's absolutely beautiful. Her name's Alice. And um, she's also a little shit, let's face it. And she goes to me the other day. She's like, Auntie Lane, where's your baby? I'm like, fucking hell. Alice, where did that come from? We're talking about three little pigs. Auntie Lane, you need a baby. Where's your boyfriend? Fucking hell. I was like, well, look, look, darling, I don't have a boyfriend right now. So, you know, that's kind of what's needed to make a baby. I know there's other options, LGBTQ friendly here, right? Um, but that's way above my pay grade to explain. That's all I'm going to say. Um, she's like, you need a baby. I've got a boyfriend. I've got six boyfriends. I'm like, well, fuck you. <laughs> I know at least three of them are cuddly toys, two of your cousins, and one's your baby brother. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Ah, I should explain, she actually lives in Australia, right? So she wasn't harmed in this conversation, okay? So while she's on her Weetabix, I'm on an espresso martini. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, she's like, Lane, you need, you need to get, go you need a boy, you need a girl, you need, you need a baby. And I'm like, look, my darling, baby girl, life's not turned out how I thought it might. I know by the age of 40. I know, right? <laughs> Good face cream, or as they say, um, oily don't spoily. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I know by the age of 40, my love, I should have bifolding doors, an island in my kitchen, and two little people just like you. But my last boyfriend was a sociopath who sucked me of my will to procreate, okay? She was a bit quiet after that, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, and then I thought, oh, hang on a wee minute. Did, did granny put you up to this? And she was like, I need a poo, and off she fucked. <laughs> Like, oh, thanks for the existential dread, Alice. But I don't know, I don't know. I would, I would love to have kids one day. Um, and my, my mum, she said to me, oh, why don't you just do a Bridget Jones? Do we know what doing a Bridget Jones would be? Well, she basically um, <coughs> shags a millionaire at a festival and shags her ex-boyfriend and then doesn't know who the baby daddy is and they f end up fighting over her. Yeah, that's in the third film, in case you haven't seen it. Um, I was like, Mum, you're advocating me sleeping around. I'm not going to get a baby daddy. I'm going to get an STI. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't know. But it did make me think about some of the guys that I used to go out with, right? And there was this guy. Uh, me and my pals, we affectionately called him Fish Boy. 
fish boy. It's not because he stunk. Look at me. I'm a stone cold six in London and I'm a three in Liverpool. You're all gorgeous. God, you guys know how to dress up. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, ah, she's like, yeah, look, look online, look online. Uh, and I looked up my old boyfriend, fish boy. He thought he was a salmon in a previous life. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay to laugh, I am over it. Um, and you know how like, there, there, there's many a comedian that will tell you, oh, true story, true story, that shit happened to me, right? He came round to my house uh, for a date, Netflix and chill, um, and we met at the door, gave me a kiss, and he went, oh, what have you been eating? I said, oh, well, I had a tuna, a tuna? He did. I'm not shitting you. Like, this happened. Maybe not in such a dramatic fashion, but he definitely said those. Words. I was like, oh, John, come in. Hi, John, if you're watching. Um, hi, John, come in. There's this amazing new program that I want you to see. It's called The Inbetweeners. That's how long ago it was. The Inbetweeners was new, right? Don't worry, I've had sex since. Um, <laughs> So he comes up the stairs and says, oh, I've never seen this program before. The episode in question, yes, yes, was the one where Neil, the lead character, punches a fifth to death. <laughs> we didn't last long after that, actually. <laughs> but yeah, throughout my uh, Facebook stock, and I actually find out that Fishboy uh, is married with a kid. I'm going to say that one more time. Do you know how Beyonce, Beyonce said, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it? Fish boy didn't like it! <laughs> anyway, so throughout my stalking, I actually found that um, him and his family, they love going to the swimming baths. They love going to the swimming baths. Where um, Fish boy, he likes to climb up the slides backwards. Salmon, she gets it. That's what four years of a biology degree will get you. A bad joke about natural history. But look, I don't want you to feel sorry for me for going out with somebody that actually thought he was a fish. There was some advantages to going out with somebody who thought he was a fish. He didn't come up for air much. Don't feel sorry for me. But um, yeah, like my urge to have a family like at this age, right, is, is quite overwhelming. So I decided a few years ago, this is after the fish boy incident, that I would freeze my eggs. <gasps> I know. I brought a tampon on, it wasn't a, a pad on stage and I'm gonna talk about freezing my eggs now. Hold tight. Um, but yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing what modern medicine can actually do. It's really cool and like they pump you full of drugs. You're kind of like baby Bruce Banner, like the Hulk, Ugh, like really angry and stuff. Kind of like Violet Beauregard before the juicing room as well. It like really makes you swell. Um, but yeah, so I went in and it's like a day operation and it's fab, it's really amazing. And then um, they take you in and they start to uh, put you at ease. Now I'm all for having people relaxed and happy at work. But they had the radio on, and guess what was playing? All the fucking single ladies, wasn't it? <laughs> Beyonce is haunting me. Like, I wouldn't mind, but the flipping nurses were giving it, like, <laughs> around, and I'm like, they're like legs akimbo. There's somebody in the corner with a dildo with a needle on the end. I'm like, guys, concentrate. Please! Oh my God. But I actually, um, I came round. I came round and, uh, after the anaesthetic and they managed to get harvest some eggs. Great. Woo! Yeah. And um, they won't let you leave. They won't let you leave until you've had some food. Right? What do you think they gave me? An egg salad sandwich. That's tight, isn't it? I just don't think that's right. Guys, I'm going to go. You guys have been amazing. You've got a great bill tonight. I've been Lorraine Hoodless. Thank you. <laughs>
I might need this. Nice All right, hold this.